So the best time to harvest your herbs is actually early morning, before the hot sun comes up and dries off the essential oils. So you always want to trim from the top and you want to make sure that you take the flower off if you see one producing because once the flower is in production, it stops putting all of its goodness into leaf production. And that will encourage other leaves to grow so that you don't end up with a woody plant. Now the oregano in these pots is nice and low and well trimmed and staying bushy, producing really good foliage, which is perfect for your tomato sauce. If you look at this one that's been on the shelf a little bit longer, what's happened is it hasn't been pruned, and so it's gotten really tall and leggy, and you notice even the leaf quality up here at the top is so much smaller um, and not as vibrant. So what you can do to correct this is come, on way, come all the way down here and prune, you want to cut just above where there are leaves, and that will force all of these to grow, widen, thicken. You're not going to just toss these away. You can still dry this and use it, but your plant's going to thank you and produce a lot more leaves. Now, I like to let some of the flowers grow because when they grow, after the flower comes the seed. So what you can do is let some of the stalks go to seed, as they say, and once it's dry, you can just crumble that. And can you see that? And that will give you next year's sage crop. Now sage is actually a perennial. If you cut off the flowers before they go to a full flower to produce the seed, you'll get a much longer harvest out of them. But again, leave some to go just for the fun of that. Thyme is the same thing. Thyme is a perennial and that's another great one that will grow year after year, and so is rosemary. And here's an example of a basil that is now going to flower. So if I want more basil out of this, I need to cut back these flower stalks so that the plant is not putting its energy into producing flower and seed, but rather putting its energy into producing leaves so that I can get pesto this year.